put their mask off. Sussex is slammed for reconciling with royals as Queen's reign nearing end. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are more likely to reconcile with the royal family as the Queen nears the end of her reign, according to a royal expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex could be forced to reconcile with their estranged family in coming months as the Queen's ill health shines a spotlight on the future of her reign. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from royal duties in 2020, in a move dubbed Megxit. Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, relocated to California, to pursue a financially independent life away from the firm. Since moving to the U.S. with their first child Archie, now two, the couple also welcomed their new daughter to the world. They may have no regrets about their decision to step down from their royal roles and relocate to America, but Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are yet to return to the UK together with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, who shares a moniker with Her Majesty. Harry has returned to the UK on two occasions since stepping away from royal duties, but never with his wife or children in tow. Prince Harry briefly returned for his grandfather, Prince Philip's funeral in April, something he admitted he was afraid to do, and again in July to unveil a statue of his late mother, Princess Diana. Meghan, however, is yet to make the trip. Both appearances notably came following the bombshell interview he and Meghan did with US TV chat show host Oprah Winfrey back in March. During their appearance, the couple made a series of seismic claims about their time as members of the firm. But, according to a royal expert, that could be set to change as the royal family continue to rally round the Queen following her recent bout of ill health, including a painful back sprain. With the Queen set to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee next year, there will be several opportunities for the Sussex family to make an appearance and move on from their shocking tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. Royal historian, Dr. Ed Owens told Express.co.uk, I imagine there will be some kind of reconciliation further down the road, so it just depends on how much longer the Queen's reign lasts. On a slightly more somber note, he explained Harry will definitely be at his grandmother's funeral when she does finally die. And if the relationship between Meghan and the British royal family has improved by then, I see no reason why she wouldn't attend either. However, time will tell. Dr. Owens, an honorary research associate at the Center for the Study of Modern Monarchy at Royal Holloway University added, I imagine there will be some kind of reconciliation further down the road, so it just depends on how much longer the Queen's reign lasts. In 2022, the Queen is to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee, marking 70 years as the head of state. Her Majesty will become the first British monarch to celebrate the momentous occasion. The celebrations for her historic reign will be ongoing throughout the year, and also includes an extended bank holiday running from Thursday to, to Sunday 5 June. A number of events and community activities have been planned over these days as celebrations for the British public. The Duchess of Cornwall will play a leading part in marking the Queen's milestone next year, as she will preside over the Big Lunch, Britain's Jubilee Street Party. Her Majesty the Queen will also be awarding Platinum Jubilee medals to some members of the royal family. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said, a wide number of members of the royal family will receive the Platinum Jubilee medal in line with the previous two jubilees. Among those expected to receive the award are Prince Andrew and his daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. According to the Daily Express's royal correspondent Richard Palmer, Meghan and Harry also appear to be on the list to receive the commemorative medal.